Hello YouTube, this is Docker13, bringing you all a free tweak for your device called Stamper. And what it does is it adds timestamps to the pictures on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. So if you don't know what a timestamp is, you should see a picture right there. And basically, it's just the date and time, and it's like in text, and it's placed in the lower left-hand corner of the pictures. And so I think this is a really cool tweak, and I would recommend it, especially since it is free. And when you have when you install this tweak, it doesn't add the timestamps to all your previous photos. It just makes it whenever you take makes it so whenever you take a picture, it will add a timestamp, so the date and time, to the lower left-hand corner of your picture. So to get it, just open up Cydia, search for Stamper. It should be from the Big Boss repo, as you guys can see right there. And once you have found it, you can just install it. You don't need to purchase it because, like I said before, it is free. So once you have it installed on your device, you should see a new tab and the settings app called Stamper, as you can see right there. So you can just touch that, and here's where you can customize it. You can enable it, or you can disable it. You can change the timestamp to 24-hour time. So if you go by 12 o'clock, 13 o'clock, 14 o'clock, you can do that. You can change the label color from all those different ones, but I prefer to keep it at white. And you can also change the font size from however big you want, but I'm going to change it at 13. I'm going to leave it at 13. And you can make the custom text whatever you want. So custom text... It, this text will appear before the timestamp, so it will say hello, and then it will say the date and time, but personally, I don't like any custom text, and if you just want it to show the custom text, you can do the just stamp, and you can leave that on, but personally, I'm going to turn it off because all I want the timestamp to say is the date and time from when the picture was taken, so I'm just going to take a quick picture here of this box, and that box, I believe, is the iPod Touch 4th generation box when I first got it. So as you can see, when you go back to your camera um, album, you, it will take the first picture, so it will take one picture without the timestamp, and then the second picture will have the timestamp right there. So I have around 305 pictures on my device, and you know every couple months it's always fun to look back at all your pictures, and with this tweak, it's really cool because when I'm looking at my pictures, I can I can see all the dates from when I took them. So thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like the video by clicking the like button down below. Also, please don't forget to leave a comment and also please subscribe. Also, please don't forget to follow me on Twitter and subscribe to my second YouTube channel. I will have two links in the description down below. Sorry for those two voice cracks. And once again, guys, thanks for watching the video and see you all later.